Hi, this is Chris Brinson with, at Pure Vita Fitness with your tip of the week. Um, I kind of thought about it this week and I'm going to talk about uh, opposing joints, shoulder and hip. Um, so, talk about shoulder pain. A lot of my clients have, have had some shoulder pain in the past or in lately, so I thought this would be a good topic to do. Um, so, basically you're opposing joints, so this shoulder, right shoulder, is opposed to the left hip, okay? Left shoulder is opposed to the right hip. So let's say, let's say for instance your right shoulder is hurting, you want to do a self-assessment, which could be something like this. Just keep your arm straight, go up to about first resistance, so about right there for me. Okay, or you can also do a toe touch, kind of go, kind of gauge where you're at there. We're going to do a drill here to see if I, my range of motion got better or if the pain got better. So you, what you're going to want to do is, is you don't want to come to a ledge or if you don't have a ledge, you get it like a chair or something. And what you're going to do is you're going to turn your foot in or out. Whatever, whatever is harder for you to hold is you're going to be your rehab position. So for me, it's going to be right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to circle, try not to make the letter D and just do full circles. Okay, we're going to do both directions, about three to five each direction, so we don't overset stress the joint. Okay, so I'm probably going to do it on both sides. So again, I'm just going to do that. And I would probably do both sides even if it's just one, if it's just one shoulder that hurts. Okay, so I did both sides. I'm going to retest that. So it was my right one can get a little bit further back. It's also a lot smoother, so it doesn't have to go further back, but if it's just a little bit more smooth. Or I can do a toe touch. And I can get down a little bit further there, just by mobilizing the joint. So, uh, again, this is Chris uh, Brinson with your tip of the week, and uh, we'll see you next time.